Are you a plumbing business looking to get unlimited leads on Google? Of course you are. Well, you're in luck because in this video, we'll show you how to get leads with zero ad budget. In our 10 year history, we've built hundreds of plumbing websites and generated thousands of leads using search engine optimization. Now, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from One Base Media, and I'm here to help you get more leads for your trades business using online marketing. So if you don't wanna miss any videos, join our community and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Let's go. So without further ado, the first step is to build a website. First things first, you need a website. WordPress is a fantastic choice to get your business online. It's versatile, offers a boatload of features from blogs to newsletters, and it's pretty user-friendly. You'll need a little bit of technical knowledge, but the dashboard is really easy to operate. Now, if you're after something even easier, Squarespace is another option. It's user-friendly with some great drag and drop templates that you can use for product-based websites. Squarespace is a better option for e-commerce websites, but when it comes to service-based websites like those selling plumbing services rather than plumbing parts, we do recommend using WordPress. All right, moving on to our second step, crafting a content strategy. So let's take a closer look at one plumbing website that's ranking high for the search term plumbers in London. London being a very competitive area. So for example, this website, Pimlico Plumbers, has built dedicated landing pages for each service that they offer. So if you're a drainage and plumbing company looking to replicate this success, you need to list all your different services and then build a dedicated landing page with content around each of the services you offer. Doing this will help you rank for specific searches for a plumbing service that a customer might be typing into Google. Now let's say you're a plumbing company in Essex. You need to build a dedicated page for each town with a substantial population in the Essex County. If you don't know this off the top of your head and need to do some research, you can use ChatGPT. Perfect. All you need to do is type in list me all of the towns in Essex and it will give you a list of all the main and most heavily populated towns in the Essex area. Before you start building pages for all the towns, we use a keyword research tool called SEMrush to see how many searches are being made for a particular key phrase. It's a great tool to see if there is a high demand. So when we put Plumbers Chelmsford in the tool, you can see it's a highly searched key phrase with a monthly volume of 210. So it's definitely worth our while to make a dedicated landing page for Chelmsford so that we get found when someone searches for it. You get the idea. We can do the same thing for each key phrase, put it in SEMrush to see if there's a high search volume, and then if there is, we build a dedicated local landing page. Step three, writing our content. To optimize our on-page content, we use a paid tool called Surfer SEO. It's an amazing tool, and let me walk you through how it works. So for example, let's take a page that we're writing content for, Block Drains Maidstone. We fully optimize this page, and as you can see, we've got a score of 100, so that's incredible. Anything over 70 is good, so we wanna make sure that the content we write gets a score of at least that. Surfer SEO also tells you how many words, headings, paragraphs, and images you need to start ranking on the first page. It also suggests all the keywords and headings that you can use. In short, when you've written your content, use Surfer SEO to optimize it so you can start ranking higher. Step number four is to write value-driven blogs. You want to write and publish blogs on your website that answer common questions people are searching for. If you're stuck for ideas, you can take inspiration from similar blogs that your competitors are publishing. So let's take a couple of examples. When we search for boiler not working, a blog post that matches our search pops up. As you can see, it's a huge blog post with the title, boiler not working, most common problems and fixes, and they have a pop-up notification to get leads as well. So now let's copy their blog link and paste it into the SEMrush tool to see how many visitors they're getting. So just from organic searches, they're getting 547 visitors every month. This serves as an effective inbound lead generation strategy. Someone Googles their boiler issue, finds this blog, and straight away they are a potential lead for this company. Let's take another example and search how to unblock a drain. You can see here, this company at the top is called Drain Doctor. They have a very short blog post explaining how to unblock a drain, and on top they have a call to action, find your local engineer. This will generate leads for them. Overall, publishing value-driven blog posts is a great way to generate inbound leads. Step number five involves building directory citations. For this, first let's open Google and type in plumbers in London. Take the top ranked website, which in this case is the Italian plumber. Copy the website URL and head over to a free tool called Ahrefs Backlink Checker and paste it in. This tool is really useful as it tells us how many other websites link back to the one we're checking. For the Italian plumber, it shows 82 backlinks. If we scroll down, we'll see all the local directories where this website is listed. Now what you can do is check out all of these directories. Getting your business listed on these directories helps you get more visitors. 
Some of these directories will have a listing fee of around five to 10 pounds, but others you'll be able to join at no cost. So make sure you get listed on these directories and create backlinks to your website, which will boost your domain authority and rank your website higher. Now the final step, number six, is to optimize and claim your Google My Business profile. So here's what you want to do. Search for plumbers in London or whichever city you're located in, and you'll see a list of Google Business profiles. This is where you want your business to appear. We've got a detailed 14 minute guide on optimizing this listing and we'll include the link in the video description for your reference. Now the first crucial step is claiming your business listing. Remember your business needs to be based in London to rank here. Once you've accessed your profile, focus on two main things, reviews and images. Look at the number of reviews and images your competitors have and to rank higher, aim to surpass that. So if they have 100 reviews, you wanna get 200. I know this sounds hard and time consuming, but do take time to prioritize this. More reviews means a higher ranking. The keyword plumbers in London gets 1,300 searches each month alone. So by beating the competition and ranking higher, you can bring in hundreds of leads directly from Google My Business. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then there's a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I wanna say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you wanna see more like this, please like and subscribe, and also leave a comment in the comment section letting us know the results you get from following this advice. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day, I'll see you on the next one.